Hey, what's up everybody? Yeah, I'm back with another video earlier than expected. Um, reason for that is we've been running on recap. If you don't know what that is, I'll give a brief description. So you have several clocks. You got your rest clock, your 11 hour drive clock, which is 11 hours you can drive, 14 hour clock for 14 hours you can be on duty. And then you have your 70 hour clock, which is on duty for the entire week. When you run out of your 70 for the entire week, you have to run on what's called recap, which means at midnight each night, you get back so many hours. So when you look at your hours of service, it usually tells you at midnight, you're getting five, six, eight, nine, depending upon whatever, how you've been running, you may get so many hours back. Um, this is also one of the reasons why I've been driving the night shift for the going on the third week now, uh, because we've been running on recap for several weeks. Um, Recap at midnight is based on Springfield, Missouri time. So I can't really think of the time zone right now because I'm a little tired. Um, but we're an hour ahead of Springfield, Missouri, and my trainer forgot to calculate that into the time he told me to get up. So I got up 30 minutes to midnight here, but I really needed to get up uh, 30 minutes to 1 a.m. So it is what it is. I got some extra time. So I figured I'd use this time to talk about the whole company lease on operator I'm debating on what I'm going to do so originally I was going to go lease but here's the thing I don't want to lease I see leasing as a waste of money uh, because you're not investing into something that belongs to you that truck doesn't end up being yours at the end of the lease unless you're doing a lease purchase right now success leasing through prime has suspended their lease purchase program unless I believe you get a used truck which has to be minimum two years old, and then you have to get outside financing. Success leasing is not financing any lease purchases. Um, that's what I was told when I spoke to someone at the Piston Terminal several weeks back before I got back on the road when my trainer was on home time. There are some other companies like SFI that you can still do lease purchases through uh, for a brand new truck, three year lease, uh, you're talking about $1,200 payments every single week for three years. Um, then at the end of the three years, you're looking at like another 56000 at the end to purchase the truck. So all in all, you're talking about somewhere close to $250,000 for a truck that's normally valued at $150,000. That's a lot of money. Um, so one of the things that I also realized with these lease purchase programs they do not report to the credit bureau, which is good for somebody who doesn't have uh, good credit, you know, because, you know, they're doing essentially in-house financing based on the fact that you have experience being on the road. But for a person like myself, I have good credit. Um, I would like to build my business credit. So me doing a lease purchase program, whether it's through Success Leasing, through SFI or any other company, is completely worthless for me and it's a waste of extra money um, because I pay all this money 52 weeks of $1,200 payments for three years and they don't even and it doesn't even reflect that my business paid those made those payments uh, it doesn't reflect on my credit that I made those payments it's completely pointless so what I think may be the best solution for me depending upon what I need for a bank to actually finance me to purchase a used truck since right now there's a semiconductor shortage. So for a lot of you who don't really understand why there's a truck shortage, the reason for the truck shortage is the chip shortage. So the chip shortage is essentially it's the semiconductors and little processors that are pretty much in everything, laptops, phones, whatever electronic device you have, they're in there. And because uh, Intel's having problems with getting these chips produced, that's where we're having the issue. So a lot of trucks are actually like 95% complete, but they're missing the semiconductor. So that's what's going on with that. But anyway, I'm looking at getting a bank to finance me because if a bank can finance me, at that point I'm making the bank payments and those payments to the bank is actually reporting on the credit, which means I'm building my business credit, which makes it easier for me to get financing down the line instead of me having three years of not having any real business credit and then three years later now I'm trying to start 
the business credit. That doesn't make any sense. Um, so I need to find out if when the time comes to give financing, if the bank needs to see settlements to actually see how much I'd be making as an owner operator, or if they just need to know that I have a business plan that I've been working over the road, that I'm already under an authority like Prime, uh, and then I'm going to be switching over to owner operator and then I have the down payment money together already So I'm doing some research on that once I find that information out I'm gonna make a decision because I think it may be wise that if they don't require that for me to just go company That way I'm not leasing. I'm not wasting any money Also, no expenses of the truck are mine It's all the companies and I'm just getting paid by the mile and I can just be on the road and just run 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 and save all my money for the down payment to then jump into a bank finance and buy the truck. And then at that point, I'm also not wasting like an additional fifty to a hundred thousand dollars giving it to some company to pay for a truck for them because that's what leasing is. If it's not a lease purchase, you're essentially paying for the truck for them, and then they turn around and then give it to someone else, and then they continue to pay for the truck again for them. So, I mean, let's just be honest. These companies are making a lot of money doing leasing, doing leasing, whether it's a lease purchase or not. But just a straight lease, oh, they're making tons of money, you know, because that truck just pays for itself over and over and over because it's just passing through hands. And then a lot of people don't even complete their lease on top of it. So sign a one-year lease, two-year lease, three-year lease. You make it like two years. The third year, you're like, you know what? I'm going to walk away from this because you can. You just paid all that money, and now they're going to give it to somebody else another two years three years one year so yeah anyway it's uh it's getting about that time for me to go do the vehicle inspection before i get ready to roll out of here um actually crap i can't even do the uh, vehicle inspection right now because i don't have the time <laughs> oh that's good yeah so i think that that is the best way to go at least for me that's that's me your situation may be different um that's just personally how i feel about the whole leasing option if it wasn't for the whole semiconductor shortage that's going on it probably would be easier to do a lease purchase program and then i maybe would consider it because the, the price of the truck maybe wouldn't be as inflated as it is at this current time uh, but I can't really say because I didn't see what the prices were of the trucks before this situation happened because I wasn't in the industry yet. But I was, however, doing research on the price of normal trucks, not just through a leasing program, though. And it's definitely pretty much almost double now than what they were costing brand new beforehand because my brother has been in this industry for a while and he and I used to talk and I was just looking up trucks and stuff while he and I were talking about the things that he wanted. Um, other than that, as I find out more information on what my options are, I'll, I'll update you all and let you know, but I'm definitely looking uh, more towards going company than I am for going lease, even though I really want to go lease because, you know, when you are a lease operator or an owner operator, you get paid based on the low percentage. So that's a lot more money when you're out on the road running, uh, especially depending upon the types of loads that you're getting. You may get really good loads and get paid very well. But given the current circumstances and the cost of these trucks, I'd rather just go company and then that way the truck is their responsibility if there's any problems with the truck that's on them they deal with the fuel and all of that and i just get paid for the fact that i'm driving by the mile so as long as i'm in that bad boy and it's up and running and i'm out and about and doing my thing and give me a note give me a load give me a load give me another load you know they're making more money because i'm getting those loads done and they're technically paying me less than they would be paying an owner operator but at the same time i still get paid pretty well so that's my thoughts on that. I'm getting ready to go head back to the truck and get ready to get out of here. Um, like I said, I got a few more minutes before I get my time back before I can actually roll. But I think if I recall correctly, I might have 16 minutes left on my 70 that I can at least start the vehicle inspection. And that way, when I get my time back, I can then go ahead and drive off. 
So I'll catch up with y'all later. Stay safe. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, going solo. I definitely am. So that way I can get back to exercising. I can get back to eating a, a better diet because right now these food options when I'm driving at night are poor. They're horrible. They're poor. They're really poor food conditions. You know, it's just burgers and pizza and deep fried everything. And I don't normally eat like this. So it's not even just the food that's taking a toll on my body. It's also the simple fact that I'm up at night and having to sleep during the day. So since I have to sleep during the day and the food options are so bad, even even during the day the food options are bad, I'm having to just kind of grab food where we stop during the day, eat, and then immediately go to bed. So I'm eating like crap and then going to bed after eating that. Um, so my body's not liking that at all. So I'll, I'm really looking forward to going solo so I can get back to my normal diet, get my exercise in, and just get to a healthy lifestyle while doing this job. That's just me. I, I, need, to, I need to be able to eat right and take care of myself. Um, that is really important to me. My health is the number one thing I care about. Anyway, I'm out. I'll catch up with y'all later. Stay safe. Peace.